Well, I'm definitely putting the daily practice for busy shredders to the test right now. Had some surprise, surprise computer issues right when I was about to start doing this stuff, and I was writing up the uh, wait a minute, writing up the next thing to practice, and shit was crashing, so I reset the computer, and now I have less than 20 minutes before my next student. But that's okay. Hitting at least one thing. So I'm doing two note coils today. Sticking with the key V minor. Sticking with the four full beats, ending on the fifth beat. Okay. Oh, sorry. I thought I had that in, in view there. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Alright, so because I am pressed for time today, I'm not going to be counting off what I'm doing. So if you were following along, I apologize. It ain't going to happen today. But uh, here we go 16th note pattern. And. Okay. Metronome, 60 beats per minute. Nope. All right, fast practice session. Let's see how well it goes. Okay. Is a little uneven there. Oh. That felt better.
Damn. I'm at 150 right now. <clears throat> There we go. My mind's very distracted today. <laughs> Was 180. That's pretty good for something like this, huh? Stop for a second. Wait, what did I say? Did I say new message again? What? Another new one. <sighs> anyway, that was an exciting part of the video, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, try and get a better 185 here. Be cool if I could get this all up to 200. Every one of these little practice things, the 16th notes up to 200. I don't remember what that would be for 16th note triplets, though. the 200 a day. I haven't practiced it enough. There we go. Alright, 185. Not bad. I got it done within 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Uh, let's see here. So, what am I doing now? Now, going to input my stuff. Input to, well, I better save this first, huh? Number three. And today's date, 16th. Sixteen, 
17 to 185 beats per minute. Huh. Well, since I have I got that done in less than 10 minutes, I wonder if I can actually pull off another thing. Let's see what the next one was. It's been a while since I actually opened it or tried it. Nine to day one number. What the hell's number four? There it is. This one we've got. Okay. <laughs> Move this back. All right, now I'm going to play this for the key of E minor for four beats. Change the key. Hurry up, change the key. Ooh. Less than eight minutes. Got it, got it now, I'm back where I'm supposed to be. Da, 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 Alright, save that. And bring that out. Okay. Well, let's see what I can do in uh, less than seven minutes. So there is a pattern going on here, and this is something, uh, I guess Yngwie Malmsteen is known for doing descending fourths, uh, I guess Michelangelo Betty does it too, a descending fourth, so when I do a descending fourth, I'm playing like this, so I'm going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on, but this, you kind of, you have a note, and then you skip a note, so you're going from... You're skipping that F sharp here and going E, G, F sharp, E. So that's your one, two, three, four, and then you kind of keep that pattern. Instead of. So I'm doing that here, but kind of doing an ascending thing. So here we go. I got like five minutes now. Let's see where I can get.
Fuck. There we go. It's all mental right now because I am definitely not used to practicing this. This is a very new pattern for me. Fucking damn, that's a bitch. Gotta stop for a second. So this is one of those situations where everybody's going to go through this no matter how long they've been playing. You can't know everything. You can't practice everything. So when you come to a completely new pattern for you, these things happen. These things happen. I gotta sign on to Skype. I have a lesson tie in less than three minutes. Holy crap. Technically three, I don't know. Now that it's 527, it's going to be 530 in less than seven or three minutes. Definitely less than seven. Alright. Let's try this again. There we go. Cool. All right, well, 160. Hey, whatever. It's not crazy fucking fast, but, uh, you know, it's a start. It's a start. And that's something everybody watching this should keep in mind when you reach frustrating moments in your practice. you got to start somewhere. You have to. You can't be hauling ass through every single thing that you do from the very beginning and believe me I have a very difficult time accepting that after being able to play certain things at you know certain speeds it's just but that's the way it is has it's gonna happen it has to happen in order to get better we can't always start off at the tip top shape it just can't happen so there you go the practice done I got two exercises done in less than 20 minutes you do have time to practice you absolutely do. Get on it!